Welcome back, everyone, to Final Fantasy VIII. You're here with Rain Lefebvre, otherwise known as Drex Craven, when it's time for us to go to the heart of Fisherman's Horizon. Hey, it's Martine! A lot has happened since then. Banished from Galbadia Garden, everything I built up is gone. After wandering around mindlessly, the people of this town welcome me with open arms. The townspeople encourage me to start over. Very kind of them, even towards a man like me who has nothing. I'm so ashamed. So yeah, Martin's lost everything but the people of Fisherman's Horizon. If he is willing to turn over a new leaf, they are willing to accept him. I get the feeling there are a lot of people like that in this town. Hey! There's some stuff up there. Well, I'm glad they make Mayor Doby look uh, a little bit younger in this one. Uh, he looks positively ancient in the original, and Flo, his wife, looks like she's like 24, and now they're like, oh, they're two older people, but fine. Please have a seat. Allow me to get to the point. When are you leaving? Not wasting any time. We'll leave as soon as the garden is capable of moving. Any idea when? I'm afraid not. We only discovered that our garden is mobile a short while ago. Therefore, we don't even know how to move it. We're still in the process of understanding everything. Our technicians will assist you. They should be able to repair and service everything. How does that sound? That means we'll have to let outsiders into the garden. I can't make this decision alone. Go consult with your leader if you don't have the authority. Excuse me, why do you want us to leave so bad? Please, just keep your mouth shut. They must have their reasons. Who cares? We don't want military organizations and fishermen's horizons. You rely on force to solve problems. That is in direct defiance of our principles. We believe that any problem can be settled by discussion. If you reach a mutual understanding, there's no need to fight. No argument there. Trite and dull as hell, though. Violence only leads to more violence. We believe your presence here will attract violence. That's why we want you to leave as soon as possible. Well, let's go back to garden. I mean, he makes a good point, but he is assuming that everyone in the world is a reasonable actor. And if there's one thing that I've learned, that's not always the case. That geezer pissed me off, Squall. Why don't you go tell him off? Forget it. You can't expect everyone to welcome us. He's a little naive, but he's got the right idea. Kobadian soldiers! Mayor, we have a big problem. The Galbadians are coming. Galbadians? Are they armed? It must be some kind of mistake. They arrived at the station. They were armed big time. Let's not panic. President Delling and I are old friends. I'll go talk to them and work this out. President Delling is dead. Galbadia is now ruled by the sorceress. I'm sure everything will be alright. Sorceress is still a person. I'm sure we can reach an understanding. Right? How the hell should I know? Ah, uh, doubtful, uh, ladies and... Lady and gentlemen. Uh... They have no cause to be reasonable in a just world. Certainly they would listen to reason, but... Wait! The, Galb the Galbadians are here because of you, right? They're after you. Maybe. You'd better take full responsibility. This is your fault. Fine, we'll take care of them. I don't like the sound of a tone, though. We mustn't rely on them. They won't be able to do anything without fighting. Don't tell me he's going to try to reason with them. I'll go talk to them. He's dead. <laughs> You're not wrong, Squall. You're not wrong. He looked a bit gloomy, the mayor. 
saw the mayor walking towards the station alone. Did you guys have anything to do with it? Where is it? Just keep going straight. You'll run there. Oh, boy. I sense some small amount of suffering in our future. And there he is. Kills me to help that old fart. Why are they wasting their time with the old man if they're after us in the garden? I wonder what they're talking about. I already told you. I've never heard of this alone girl. There's nobody here by that name. Alone. Fine. We'll just have to torch the city then. Wait a minute. I'm telling the truth. I've never even seen this girl. Doesn't matter, old man. We're gonna burn this place anyway. The day is orders. <laughs> no, please. I beg you, don't. I guess I'll start with you. Maybe we'd better go now. Go help. All right. All right, let's get it on. Who the hell are you? We're seeds. Seeds, get the ironclad out of here. Sorry, but we don't have a choice. Wall. We got this. We got this. We Gucci. No need to worry. We outclass these guys by a lot. No, no. He'll kick you apart. Yay! <laughs> deleted. I said deleted. No sign of the ironclad, huh? Something's coming. Hey! Doesn't that look familiar? Rest of the shit, but still moving. Try not to kill our friend, shall we? I mean, assuming that they're inside. We got a big one on our hands. Damn, alright. What is this mystery spell? Ah! First things first, let's figure out what this is. Out of control after being destroyed at the missile base. Can only fight for a short amount of time. Weak against, you know, fucking everything. How much health does it have? Really? 6,000? I would have expected less. Um... Um... Uh, wow. One shot. Smash it. Oop. Try to hit the go fast button. Gotta go speed! Maybe not. And again, my guardian forces just might not be that strong. Chop them up. Darn it. Faded circle. Oh boy. Squall going down. He's down. Give me my boy. And kill him again! <laughs> That's too funny. Oh, stop is the last spell. I will need that. Thanks. <laughs> it's so pitiful! Hey, we got it. Show me that sweet, sweet AP. 
Ooh, running fires. I did want some of those. Hey gang, how's it going? Squall! Yeah, they're all right. Hey Selfie. Chris is Servine, it's great to see you guys. What happened to the garden? A lot has happened. Garden's safe. Really? Woohoo! What happened to you guys? Yo, let's talk about that later. Yeah, I guess. Zell, Renoa, why don't you guys take them back to garden? I'll see you guys later, after I take a look around. Renoa? You know, you just surprised me. You looked and sounded so happy to see them. I know, right? Squall asked another human being how they felt. What? It's the first time I've seen you so honest. It was kind of sweet. I just did. I was really glad to see them. I was just happy to see that they were all right. What's so surprising about that? Is there something wrong? No, there's nothing wrong. They're your comrades, but moreover, they're your friends. Friends, huh? Squall, would you have been worried about me too? You know, if I were with them instead? What? Why is she asking me this? I don't know. I, d I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. That is the wrong fucking answer. Oh my gosh, you're turning red. What? No, I'm not. You're so cute. You take it so seriously. The hell is she doing? Why is she toying with me? Catch you later, Squall. Obviously, you get different dialogue if you, bring if you send her. I guess you saved my life. Sorry for putting in. No, but I'm not thanking you. You don't have to, it's just that. What am I trying to say? I wanted to understand. I wish you could be a little bit more understanding about us. We're not a bunch of warmongers. Oh? I don't know what more to say. It's hard for me to explain. I wish everything could be settled without resorting to violence. And there would be no need for fighting. Like you've been preaching, it would be wonderful if things could be settled with discussion. The only problem with that is it often takes too much time especially if others aren't willing to listen. So I believe that fighting is inevitable at times. It's actually sad. That's all I have to say. I hope you understand. I think the world needs both people like you and people like us. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Doing my best here. Say the master of Valam Garden, Norg, right? Devolve? What are you talking about? Norg, he's a shumi. He should evolve. Shumi? You don't know diddly squat, do you? Don't worry about it. You'll start getting it soon. What'll it be? Ooh. Who can get me weapons? Uh, steel pipes and bong fragments. I could get some of those. Um... Gauntlet needs a dragon skin and a fury fragment. I'm not liable to find those anytime soon. And I need the cutting trigger and the flame saber. I know where I can get mesmerized blades. And I know where I can get turtle shells. But screws, those will be easier to get. What's in this draw point? Give me the goods. Shell. I'm out. Let's... Boogie. So you did fight after all. What? You don't remember me? We just met by your garden's entrance. Was it him? Sorry. I can't believe it. Oh well. I'm operating the lift. You saw my brother up there, right? Yeah. Don't we look alike? Man, what's wrong with you? Oh well, let me know when you want to go up. Going up? I'm okay. Huh, it's Irvine. Headmaster gave the okay to let the technicians in the garden. They're in there right now. Okay. Say! Yeah. I was wondering, those technicians seem pretty handy. So, like, would it be alright if I asked them to fix some other stuff? As long as it doesn't slow down the work on garden, go ahead, but don't ask for too much. Yeah, of course. Oh, Irvine has joined our party. What? Well, Selfie's feeling really down right now. I thought I should let you know since you're kind of everybody's leader. I think you should go talk to her. I know you're a klutz when it comes to these things, so I'll back you up. Where is she? She's hanging out on the stage by the quad. 
I can't imagine why. Maybe because their home has probably been destroyed. Wow. I didn't expect all this heavy machinery. How else are they going to repair it? With hammers and nails? Hey, this isn't really my department. What is? Guns and women, of course. God damn it, Irvine. To the quad! I should play some cards on Fisher Hemen's Horizon before I leave. Maybe they have a more robust trade rule that I can spread here. Like, difference or all. Not direct, though. Ah, uh, direct is trash. There's nothing like winning a game but losing cards instead. Uh, losing cards, too. Oh, no! This is so bad. Yeah, it's been crazy with the garden moving and crashing into Fisherman's Horizon. A lot's happened. You know, I really I, you know, I really wanted to see a band perform on this stage. I even had my eyes set on a few people, too. Oh, well. And she's really down. Come on, I'm sure you can still do something. Squall, being sensitive? That's weird. You're the last person I expected to cheer me up. I must really look depressed. What's so weird? I care just like everybody else. It's just that there are too many things that can't be helped. I bother talking about everything. Uh-oh, there you go again. It's your own little world. You're not going to share it, are you? Yeah, whatever. Why is she teasing me? I'm just trying to help. Really, I think I'm feeling better. Don't worry about me, Squall. Irvine, you see what you can do. I'm out. Alrighty. Skull, this is the headmaster speaking. Please come to my office. What now? I guess there's no point feeling blue. That's right. Let's just get some fun started. Fun? What fun? <laughs> I'm so brilliant. So, like, first, we'll ask the Fisherman Horizons technicians if they can fix the stage. If they can fix the garden, this should be a piece of cake. Do you think they'll do it? Don't worry. I'll back you up. I'm sure they'll do it. That means... Yep, you can have your band perform on stage. Woohoo! All right, let's get this show on the road. Score, baby. I'm all set to make my move. <laughs> that about covers my report, sir. I see. I also heard a report from Selfie just a moment ago. She said the diary is open to everyone to see. Maybe you should have a look. Oh, and one more thing. It appears that the Galbadians were searching for a loan. They seem to be their main objective in Fisherman's Horizon. I believe the sorceress Adia is behind all this. The loan has the ability to allow people to experience the past. Maybe the sorceress is after her for this ability? What other reason could there be? So now the Galbadians are working for the sorceress. We were searching for a loan and if, and we're searching for a loan in Fisherman's Horizon. Regardless of whether they found her or not, they had orders to burn the city down. That would help reduce the number of potential places where she could hide. I suppose that's right. Most likely, the sorceress will not stop this onslaught until Alone is found. She will continue to hunt her and burn everything in her path. We can't wait any longer. He's finally killing official. It's about time. This is Headmaster Sid, and I have an announcement to make. Hey! I have important news that I must share with all of you. The garden is being repaired right now. We'll leave Fisherman's Horizon immediately after it's finished. We're going on a journey. This is a journey to defeat the sorceress. The garden will now be used as a mobile operating base. The administration of garden will be run by myself and the staff, as usual. This journey will involve many battles. A well-qualified leader is needed. Therefore, I'm appointing Squall as your new leader. Fuck Sid! You coward! From now on, Squall will be the leader. He will decide our destination and battle plan. Are you serious? Please follow his orders. I cannot believe this. If there are any objections, please come see me in person. I don't even have a choice in the matter? Under your command from now on. This is your fate. It's your destiny to lead the way in defeating the sorceress. Actually, that's true. We'll get to that later. 
Sid would know this because he's so close to Adea. But this will all make sense later. Trust me.